The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, really Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Welcome to the show today. Hold on one second. We want to be able to get this thing to stop being an echo, and I think we just did it. I posted a chart of the NASDAQ here, folks, over the last uh, five trading days. You can see the 135 pattern that we have going on right here. But I would like to tell you a little story. Uh, it'll be in the newsletter, of course, but in uh, January, excuse me, June of 1976, I was involved in a big soybean uh, position, and we had, I think I had 1,200 contracts. They were not all mine. I had the relatives, my doctor, anybody who would listen to me, I told them to buy soybean oil or soybean meal or soybeans, and we'd held them for about eight months, and they were making a high that day in, in June of 1976. And uh, the report came out from uh, the Chicago Board of Trade uh, early in the morning. And this was back in the years when they did it early in the morning. Actually, the, trade, the, the report came out on Friday. And on the Reuters machine, I God, I wish I'd have kept it, but it said Reuters uh, was reporting that the only soybeans that you would be able to find would be in the Smithsonian Institute. I swear to God, that's what it was. And they, that was the most bullish report in the history of soybeans. Now that was a Friday, okay? My grandmother passed away the Saturday, the next Saturday, the next day, the 27th, or actually, <laughs> this is the anniversary of it right now, the 27th is when my grandmother passed away. My mother passed away uh, in 1970 on the 28th of January. The reason why I'm saying all this is that uh, when I saw that report, uh, my broker, uh, Bob Shattuck, who was at, at Conti, uh, uh, Twentyman was working for Commodity Corporation at the time. He had been my broker before. And so I told Bob, I said, Bob, let's put stops in at uh, whether it's unchanged on the day. And he said, yeah, we can do that. It took us about a half hour to write all the tickets. So we put an order in to sell all of the soybean positions. We had beans, oil, and meal across many across the markets, different uh, different. Uh, contract months and everything, but it took a while. And uh, But Ivan Auer, who was running the commodity department for the grain, soybeans, uh, and wheat for a county commodity, came on about an hour before uh, the, re the market was supposed to open, and the report had been out on Friday, and they say they're looking for three to five days limit up in beans, oil, and meal. Ivan said, I have never seen, you know, a report this bullish. And uh, I'm long, so I should be happy, right? Well, I put my stops at, uh, unchanged on the day, and I told Bob, I said, I've been to this dance before, and if it don't go up on good news, it ain't going up at all. And he said, yep, he said, you're right. So we put it in about a half hour before the opening. I have an hour back on the squawk box set. He said, there's some slight selling coming in the far out contracts. Those are the ones that were trading six months to a year into the future. About 10 minutes before the market opened, he said, well, he said, those back-end options are actually trading off limit, which surprises the hell out of me. He said, I don't know how they can do that with a port this bullish. And then five minutes before the market came open, he said, my God, folks, he said, nearby soybeans are off limit. Limit was 30 cents. They were down about, oh, about 20, but they were down about five or six cents off a of limit. And then one minute before the market opened, he said, oh, dear God in heaven. He said, they might not even open unchanged. And I had my order setting there. Market opened five minutes later. Every single option of all of them locked limit down for three days. And I got out at the absolute high. Drexel Burnham knew that I had done this. And a month and a half later, there in August, they hired me to run their commodity department. And that was a life-changing thing for me. I still get choked up about it for lots of different reasons that I can't go on to here. But folks, 
we're we're right here right now. This is the this is it. This is the bottom of the ninth inning. Yankee Stadium, baby. Colfax is pitching, and we've got Vandal up to the plate with the bases loaded and two out, and they're down by three. What's going to happen? I don't know. All I know is this is an emotional time for me because I have called the top, the stock market for today. I did it yesterday. I did it again today. I said it in the newsletter. I haven't re- I've written part of it, but I did it in the videos. I did three of them last night showing you what was happening with the NASDAQ, and I'm going to show you. Next, we'll do one or two others here just to show you for kicks and giggles, you know, where we're standing here. This is the one we've already been talking about. This is the E-mini S&P on the, uh, there it is, the high today was a new high. It smashed the old high. The old high was 49.33.75, and it blasted through there with momentum that has never been seen on the board of trade before. It went to 49.34 and a quarter. One half a point, and now we're trading 20 handles under that point. Okay, we're also looking at the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We get this up here. This is on a smaller time frame, but I said this is most probably what's going to happen, and there it was. It went right up to where we thought it was going to go, and it went right up to the 127 there at 38323. Now, this might go up and make new highs for the end of the day which it certainly could. But let's pay attention, folks, because what goes around sometimes comes around. I've seen this dance before, and it is so bullish everywhere that you can't believe it. I'll show you how crazy it is with artificial intelligence. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, preparing for this seminar that I'm going to be doing in uh, uh, April uh, of this year. And uh, and I love betting horses. I look for you know opportunities on Horses that are uh, uh, big, long shots that have no chance of winning, then they send up. Sometimes they do. But they have a service now at the off track betting places here in Las Vegas that for one American dollar, you can get the artificial intelligence pick for the day of that race for one dollar. So, you know, Larry, he's got to give it a try. So I put my dollar down, and of course, the artificial intelligence picks the absolute slam dunk favorites. A three to five favorite. In other words, if you bet two dollars, you get two dollars and ten cents back. Boy, that sounds like a good deal, doesn't it? Are you kidding me? They're actually paying a service for this. I watched it for five races. Every single time, the artificial intelligence would pick the favorite. Boys and girls, you got to be something different in this market to make up money here and there. I don't know if it's going to be right or not, but I'll tell you where we are. Just from kicks and giggles, okay? I'm going to get up here and show you where we are. In 19, uh, excuse me, 2007, Tom O'Brien asked me to do the radio show because the fellow that was running it, the super duper guy, I can't remember his name right now. Last name, I think, was Smith, but what a great guy. And uh, he had, they asked me to take it over, so I did. And I uh, did it for several years. And in October the 5th, excuse me, March the 5th, 2009, I sent this out to Tom, and I wanted to do. The red line was a Bradley model, based where we are right now. That was on the 23rd. Of course, here we are on the 26th, so we have a few days off. So I said we are going to look at the largest rally in the stock market in 70 years, and I was 100% wrong, folks. That was the biggest bull market bottom since 1932. I Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. boys and girls very sorry Cody let's get back up here because oh, that was my I was picking my horses for this afternoon when I'm finished here let's get up here and uh, pull up another chart that we want to see hold on a second folks okay uh, let's get this out of the way here okay another big one happening right now and let's just uh, we've been waiting for this the soybeans have not hit our level yet we want to buy them but we have a really great pattern here from our friend over in Singapore, because if it doesn't work, I'll give you his home number and his address where he lives, because uh, that's something that we want to watch here. Here's the, remember, watch, we're trying to buy July beans at, uh oh, I got to do something here first of all. Here is the March soybean meal, and we're waiting for this to happen right now. There's your A, B leg, C, D leg, right there at 47. It's trading at 350, okay? But, what we really want to do, if we're going to play the game right, we were back here in 1976, we want to go with the July. So we're going to change this right here and move this over a little bit and make this an N4. That means meal for July of this year. This is where the, the boys have not... Oh, there he comes. Just a second, folks. Got to love these data feeders. Okay, here's where we are. Uh, I'm going to have to go to a four-hour. Hold on just one second here. Bad data. That can, here we go. It'll come up in just a second, God willing. And she isn't right now, but she will be soon. The reason why I'm looking at this is because this is the new crop beans that they haven't even planted yet. March is still old crop. There, we, Here's where we are, okay? Here is the July soybean meal. This is where we want to be. We're, we're, we're pretty much there. There it is. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. Now another, oh, we're, we're there. This is it. This is what you want to be doing. I'm going to buy right now, boys and girls. Buy July soybean meal here at uh, 354. That's a, uh, that's going to be a butterfly pattern. Now remember, the uh, March has not made the, the uh, bottom yet, but the July has, because July 
has already been picked out. Okay, so we're that number comes in here at three fifty four. We're at three fifty four fifty. Okay, you're gonna buy it. Let's be real creative here. We're gonna buy it here at three fifty four ten. Okay, and we're gonna be very uh, conservative. And what we're going to do here is we're gonna put a stop at three fifty two. Point one. We're going to risk two American dollars on this. That's all we're going to risk. That's 200 bucks. This is a contract that has moved from just in the last uh, trading day. It's gone from 369 down to 354. That, my friends, is $1,500. Okay, now it dropped $1,500 here and rallied $1,500. So I'm saying we get to this level right here. This is where you got to dance because... You only have to risk two bucks. Look at this. That's a, what, look at the profit objective on this. Just on the, just if it goes back to there, you're looking at uh, you're looking at eight to one. Where do you get odds like that? Tell me, artificial intelligence is going to pick that one out? I'll, come on, give me a break. Not going to happen. And Bahachi, as Tahanto would say, which means in Navajo English, it will never happen. So let's move on to the next one. I've got a lot of Lone Ranger jokes, but they will not let me tell them here at TFNN or any other place. Hold on. Let's get moving here. The Treasury bonds, we need to talk about that a little bit. We've got our master of the uh, the uh, crude oil market coming up, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, crude oil, natural, crude oil, natural gas, and uh, gasoline and heating oil. Boy, he has done such a great job for us here at 2, in, two for, um, uh we are now filled in the oh that's March that excuse me haven't got the fill yet in the in the July yet but we will soon okay let's move on here and we want to look at the uh, forget the crude oil we'll let, worry about that with, with Mike here's another one that, that I really like I don't know if it will work very much or not but this is the bonds we want to look at the daily here on this bonds because we are very close to the uh, 382 here, this whole move. Now, look how look how we've been coming down here, folks. Number we want to hit is 118.24. I thought with these reports, but these reports we had yesterday in the GDP was so bullish, it was just like the soybean report that we had in, in uh, 1976. It was just like that. So bullish that, oh, my God, this thing's going straight up. And then we have a jobs report uh no, it wasn't jobs. It was some type of inflation report that we had today. It was also very good. So the news is good. It has to be good. How could these things be at these prices if they weren't? But now we've got the leader of the pack, the NASDAQ, not leading anymore, is it? So there's, there's, look at the fact that you have this up. This is where you got to play the game, folks. It really is. You know, I mean, I play the game a lot. I lose a lot, right? But I say in this letter, there's no mistake in being wrong. The mistake is in staying wrong. And if we make a new high of the day today or tomorrow or the next day, I am wrong. And we're going to take a very small loss, but we're going to be out of dodge. But if we aren't, and if we aren't, we've got a chance to do something pretty good. That's all I can say. I hope that helps. I get emotional about this when I see stuff like this because I have been very, very lucky in my life, like luck has never been before. I mean, that move that I made in 76, getting out of all that stuff, and we basically bankrupted Willard Sparks, the Sparks commodity, and Drexel knew all the positions I had and what I had done, and they said, why don't you come to work for us? And I said, I don't even want to be a broker. And so I went to meet them, and they said, yeah, you got to try it. And they made me an offer I could refuse, and they the old godfather saying, remember, and it turned out to be six years. And I've been in this business 60 years, folks. Those six years. And I love what I'm doing now, and I wouldn't trade it for a world. But those six years were the best six years I've ever had in my life because I was at the top of my game. I was trading millions of dollars, made a lot of money, gave a lot of money away, paid a lot of money in taxes. But, boy, I had a lot of fun. And I'm still reaping the rewards of those six years that I worked at Drexel. I didn't get any stock because it went bankrupt. But the friends that I made and the stuff that I've done during that time, meeting the, the athletes and the, the nice people at uh, Lewis Bernstein and Associates and and uh, uh, Kiesel Young and Logan and, uh, oh, my God, Gibson, Dunn and Crutcher. I mean, all those law firms that I worked for those years 
was really worth it. So I've been so lucky that uh, I really do. Uh, pay my pay attention, folks. I, I'm really good at what I do. I'm not all. I'm not perfect, but I'm telling you right now, this this is serious. Where we are today, this is really serious. And if, if something happens, if the market turns south, you know, the S and P I just noticed is down. Nasdaq is still down. The Dow is still up a little bit, I guess. In it anyway. But if it closed sharply lower today and then gaps down for some god known reason, like maybe uh, Trump will not run for election or something like that, that would. Uh, Sorry, boys and girls at TFNN didn't bring in politics, but something stupid, you know. Well, you could be anything. Another COVID, whatever it happens to be. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's what we're watching here today. So stay tuned for Mike Moore. Thanks for putting up with me. Uh, try to listen to the newsletter this week because they got some stuff in there that's got to pay attention to if you like these kind of things. If you don't, it doesn't make any difference. That's the main thing that we're watching here today. So let's try to remember that live every day. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hey folks, Larry Pesavento just back from the Enterprise Starship, and we are going to be talking with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics down there in the great state of Tennessee. Mike, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. You're coming in good, my friend. You've got the handle. Start out with uh, crude oil, followed by gasoline, heating oil, and natural gas. What you're looking for, okay, my friend? Okay, sounds good. I'm going to assume everybody can see my screen. I'm not sure if they can or not. Um, I'm just going to go through this kind of quickly. Obviously, we've been bullish lately. 
from a number of different levels. We held exhaustion at 68.28 and bounced 9.23 into a bullish correction or trend against the move down from 88.21. And we are now in the second leg of this. So that was this macro, just pulling this together. Hold on. From this whole macro move, this is a bullish correction or trend against it. We had held this exhaustion level right up here uh, once, twice, and now we're testing the top of it. If we take this out, we're likely going to head up to the next possible exhaustion. It's 79.60 to 80.48. All right. If we fail back down through this formation below, that's going to warrant a renewed pressure. That's going to come in at... Seventy six oh four plus three per hour starting at six o'clock p.m. or starting at two o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, looking at the gas or our bob or unleaded gasoline. We've been bullish in here for a number of weeks also. Held exhaustion below at one ninety seven ninety four, rallied thirty one fifty six, and now another piece of that today. More recently, I said the trade above 213.22 projects this upward seven cents minimum. We've seen 16.28 cents of that and this piece again today as well. We had held this exhaustion level here a couple times, held the top of it here, and now we finally punched through it after breaking below this line. So that's two reasons to be bullish in here because we have violated this bearish formation. And now we're heading up to test this next level, which is at 233.99 to 236.32. If we're this to roll back down and take out this lower line, which we're probably not going to see today, that's going to come in at 220.01. Um, excuse me a second. 220.01 minus 1.7 ticks per hour starting at 2 o'clock p.m. That should bring in renewed pressure. Renewed oil. Been bullish in here for a while as well. We held exhaustion at 247.40 and rallied 29.55 cents. And we've seen another piece of that today. All of these are in that basic general bullish uh, correction or structure against that main move down. So we've blown through, we held this, we've blown through this first exhaustion level. We're heading up towards the next level at 281.42 to 282.83. If this was to roll back down and take out some of these exhaustion, these uh, formations down below, Sorry, it's a little bit messy with those lines today. But the key line you'd be wanting to pay attention to would come in at 267.76. Minus two per hour starting at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to take a quick look at the natural gas. Natural you said the other day we were bearish from up in these levels, if if you all remember, and especially since we fell below 301.80, we traded all the way down to 207.90, which I had warned that we may head down towards these lows. We did take those lows out, take them out and broke back above. And I said a settlement back above here should bring in decent shore covering, which we saw the past couple of days. But then we broke above this formation and fell back down through it, giving this a bearish bias. And I said this is likely going to test these areas and possibly below. So we came down, we pulled back to the line, and we rolled back over today. I would suggest that this is probably the last stretch of this structure downward, so you're going to be aware of exhaustion levels down here at 206.20, 201, and then this level, level down here at 19, uh, 192.10 to 189.40. If we take this line decently back out on the upside, and when I say the term decently, that – Decent means a specific number that I send out to my clients in the morning emails. That's why I say decent. I don't know what other, other term you want to use, but it's a higher time frame penetration. Uh, that line's going to come in at 219. At 219, minus two ticks per hour starting at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have any questions on those, Larry? You want me to jump to? No, you're real, doing really great, uh, Mike. I want to compliment you. And although, so the question we have from our folks here is about the 219 level here in the uh, March uh, uh, natural gas because we hit 217.50. That's and I think we're, we're are we trading around 219 right now. We're trading 214.90 in the March. Oh, so it went quite a bit below that. That was the question. Is well, does that mean we're going to go sharply lower? Well, when we broke below this level right here at, 
Give me a second. When we broke below 224.40, that now warns of decent pressure and possibly a run for the lows again. That's what I sent out this morning to my clients. So that was a break below here. We came off, pulled back to the line, and then we've come back down almost to the lows here at 209.30. The low here is at 207.90. So we're just shy of it by 14 ticks right now. In fact, we had a buy suggestion right here against the 211.40 to 09.80 area. And that low right there was 209.30 for a pop. Okay. Do you think we could take a look at the uh, S&P uh, 500? Yes. One last thing. If we take out this low here and settle back up, look for another short covering uh, rally. Okay, S&P. Now, if you've been watching this show for a while, you know that I've been bullish from many different levels in there. Uh, most notably, the oldest level we've been bullish from is from 3502. We've seen 1,431.25 of that. A lot of other bullish uh, projections in here. And then most recently, uh, we got uh, bullish again above 47.68.75. We've seen 164.5 of that. And then this projection we have right now, which we're currently in, is from 48.32.75. I said projects this upward 85 minimum, 237 plus maximum. We're 99.5 into that. On an overall basis, though, I did say right here, I said, note, I warned we were likely in the last stretch of the structure up from 35.02. Now, we'll be aware of possible macro exhaustion at 4927.75 to 31.50, 49.51, and higher. We held this 49.27 to 31.50 with a 49.32, uh, 33.25 high here. And then we held it again here with the 49.34.25 high. We did have a suggestion today that if we broke above, um, 49.31.75 to 32 to 325 to get short right here. So that break above there right now is bringing in some pressure. We further take out this, this little formation line right there. That should probably bring in additional pressure. That is going to come in at 49.12.25 minus 43 per hour starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, if we do start a bearish correction, again, a bearish correction should exceed 512 points from whatever the high is starting the move. 500 S&P. Or you go to gold and Bitcoin. You, you're saying 500 S&P points? Yes. Okay, great. All right. Please well, continue. One, the, once the bearish correction starts, like we thought that we were going to see 512 from here, but we only saw 136 or whatever before we rallied. Oh, I didn't say I was going to. We were definitely going to see 512. Uh, the, the potential was there because we were holding this main exhaustion level, but we only saw about 136 or 139, and then we rallied up. Then I said, look for different exhaustion levels up here, and possibly one of these will hold. And if one of those hold and does start a bearish correction, that bearish correction should exceed three, 512 points. Would you like to look at the gold? Yes, sir. Please do. Okay. Gold, we've been bearish for a while. The failure back below 2028.90. Warned of renewed pressure. We've seen 24.9 of that. And the failure below 2026.80 has brought in 22.8 of pressure. But then we broke below this low right here and back above, which I said would warn a short covering. So we've seen some short covering right here. <clears throat> so we're still below some bearish for bearish formations right here. If we take out this formation on the upside, which is going to come in at 203, excuse me, 20, 30, 50 to 20, 32 minus. 1.3 ticks per hour, then that will project this upward 26 minimum, 140 plus maximum. We break above that decently and back down through it decently. If you had all long, I would be short again and then look, looking for it to come back down towards the lows. You want to take a look at Bitcoin? Yes, sir. Please do. Bitcoin turned bullish this morning. Let's see if it's still bullish. Oh, Mike, we got to take a break. Stay with us. We'll okay. be right back with Mike Moore, more analytics.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, with Mike Moore and more analytics. Mike, we've only got a couple minutes here, and, you know, everybody knows how darn good you are. Why don't you tell the folks how they can get a sample of your uh, service and newsletter and how they can reach out to you if they'd like to get more information uh, about these uh, calls you've been making. So you want to tell the folks the best way to reach you? Sure. Let me just pull it up for you in a second. Give me two seconds here. Okay. Can, that, can everybody see that? That would be the best way to get in touch with me. I just looks, go to my like website at moreanalytics.com. That's M-O-O-R analytics.com. Or you can give okay. me a call if you want. I will field phone calls from time to time. But that would be uh, the best way. Yeah. Why don't you Why don't you post the uh, the uh, post the uh, give us this because some people are on the on in their cars and stuff to tell them the phone number that they they could reach you if you, they'd like to see yeah. more about what you do. Six four six. 708-4612. That's 646-708-4612. I okay. sound like one of those commercials. Let me say it five times. <laughs> you remember we, still have a, car, we, still have a, we still have a uh, we still have a minute to go. So let's uh, let's let's talk about the uh, the uh, gold market if we could. Okay, I just went over the gold market. You want me to go over it again, or you want me to go over Bitcoin? Oh, but let's do Bitcoin. Yeah, because people are starting to get interested in it now that it hit uh, 48,000. So well, they've been interested in it for a while. But go ahead. Let's do Bitcoin. Right. 
So the break below 48,500, I said more under pressure. We saw 9,960 of that. We had a number of other bearish projections listed here. Those are all on hold. I changed to being bullish this morning. I said the break back above 44.58 now warns a decent strength. That was a break above this line right here. We're seeing the strength come in. More strength above this line and above these other lines above that will also bring in strength, especially this one right here. This is one you can lean on on the upside. That's going to come in at. Mike, thanks for joining us. We'll have you on next week. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, folks, and may God bless.